smell the axe body spray. Wait, what are you drinking? An old fashioned. <laughs> so, how dirty are your hands? Actually relatively clean. Easy one. Or so we thought. Oh. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Go on, sir. I'm in a town called Nilbog, Virginia. I've seen two vampires so far, one aged and one newborn. So close together. And you think it's not a coincidence? You never guess who hired me. Hmm. How old is your phone? Relatively new. But it's nice when the batteries last more than 15 minutes. Come on into our century. Sure. It's cool here. Mm hmm True, vampires are nocturnal, but sunlight will do more damage to your body and mine rather than theirs. They do like to hunt in the shadows, though. I really don't know anything about vampires. Most people don't. Stoker and the modern vampire have done a lot of damage to the facts. Is there anything else I need to know? Well, Sheridan pointed out something I feel like a fool that I didn't think of myself. Wait, who's Sheridan? Hmm, kind of an ally. Sort of. What, what you need to know is that vampires cannot sire other vampires. However, this one might have found a way. But we're not thinking through venom. We're thinking maybe possibly from the soil in which the bodies were buried. And with this many vampires in town, there has to be some kind of lair or somewhere they're all together. <sighs> to be honest, this is kind of new territory for us. This isn't unexpected at all. Do we help them? No, not until we know the situation. We don't want to trip them up while they have the advantage. Haven't you ever read Sun Tzu? Is that a blogger? Is that a blogger? Easy, fellas. Wait for the right moment. Well, the situation has shown itself. They're idiots. Time to intervene. Dayton Flynn. And yes, you can repay me. Shit. But uh, maybe not right now. Apparently we have more pressing matters. Take this. Is that olive oil?
Um, well, we've had a small fire. Um, nothing to be concerned about. Of course, my files on Ivan the Terror Roll and his cross-dressing are completely gone. Um, but whatever. This is uh, Sheridan's weblog number 94. And um, so, uh, new vampires. Um, how are they made? Well, <laughs> The stories that you see in the movies and all that, the, the whole thing with blood transfer, where they actually bite and, you know, they exchange blood, is actually relatively new in vampire lore. Um, if you look at the old, uh, the old literature and the old, um, you know, writings on it, it's actually um, sort of, uh, it's, it's not totally explained how they rise. Um, they just sort of come after they're dead. Um, there's sometimes days, uh, sometimes weeks. Uh, sometimes, in some cases, actual years, and we found that to be true. We don't know why exactly. Uh, Dayton and I have theorized that there's something to do with uh, maybe the location or some um, unusual aspect of the soil, uh, why they sort of rise up. Um, we're not exactly sure. I know that some of our learned colleagues say that we're a little crazy, but, um, you know, so then explain why, uh, you know, the, the, the Richmond vampire uh, in the Hollywood Cemetery arose after uh, after the big flood um you know explain that or why you know jack the ripper when he came back he would just sort of hover around his crime scenes um i i don't think it's a coincidence i know Jayton doesn't think it's a coincidence but some people do um whatever uh so anyway um yeah uh so the problem that we're now facing is that uh they seem to be able to be made um it's a new thing for us uh we don't know why that's happening um, it doesn't seem to have much to do with uh, the location, but I think maybe it does. So I actually have work to do, um, so I can't be doing this. And if anything is true, you actually do too, because um, they're going to be coming more and more. Um, we could be absolutely screwed. Uh, anyway, um, this is uh, Sheridan's weblog number 94. And uh, remember, they are out there, and now apparently they have some new tricks. Great.